Shazam! Cord Jefferson, what did he make? This is his first directing credit. Wow, not a bad directing credit. Definitely not at all. Yeah, very, very da- good debut. Very damn good. But actually, I, I actually have some gripes with this movie. I'm not gonna lie. I don't feel it get. I feel it, it focused too much on the family, and not too much on what the movie was promised to me. It kind of has the uh, it's a one to fly problem. Mm-hmm. We need too much of the family stuff, and not too much of the stuff that we actually came to see, mm-hmm. which is his life. What was what was life would be like without him? You know what I mean? Yeah. That's more like what I thought the most most of the movies gonna be. But this movie, it kind of had that problem. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like more the more I think about it, you know what I mean? So it may not get 90s for me. It may be 80s for me, I'm not going to lie. Because of that. Because I got two. But the thing is, I, I grew to like the family stuff. That's why. But it's like, that's not really what the movie is. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It wasn't even marketed that way. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's marketed as like a dark comedy. It's about that, which it did. It did deliver. Mm-hmm. But it, I felt it could deliver more and really got into it if it kind of shaved off that side of it. Yeah. That side of But I get it. It's a need for make some money. But that wasn't about the money from why he made it. Mm-hmm. Money was never an option with that, so it wasn't like, oh, I need to create this because I need to get this money. It was like, oh, yeah, no, don't even get this. Was. He need to get the money. No, no, because because when he actually wrote it, he didn't think it was actually gonna, gonna, gonna get published. Mm-hmm. So he obviously wasn't he, he obviously didn't write that with the purpose of money. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It just happened to the, this put him in a position where he needed the money. But even he was still debating on taking it because he was like, this is ridiculous. Like mm-hmm. you know what I mean? So you can't say that he was about to because it really. If that was the case, then he would have been he could have propelled that book. You know, mm-hmm. he kind of wrote that as like a as a hypocrisy to shit. He thought it was gonna go nowhere. He, he was he it was it was fucking outlandish, mm-hmm. which is I thought he that's that was the motivation it was gonna go for with the whole mother thing. Yeah, but they didn't fully utilize that though. No, because he was disgusted by that. He didn't even want that book to do anything, mm-hmm. so he didn't really even push that book to make a profit off of it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So therefore, that kind of negates itself. You know what I mean? So it's like. What's the point of having this aspect of it if you're not going to establish the well, need for him is, to get to, to, to get get thing this is, money? I think you're thinking of it. I don't think you're thinking of it the right way because you're trying to think of the family as plot devices. Where I where I think the point of the movie is so that no, we're not supposed to be using people like plot devices like that because like the whole point is like it's a movie pointing out the hypocrisy of like exploiting black trauma for a fucking profit. I think the whole I think. Again, this is all this assumption, so please, if you think I'm wrong, please feel free to correct me. But I think the purpose of having the family in in the movie the way they were was so that you could have like was to like not actually be a victim of the things that you're making uh, of not actually doing the things you're actually like fucking mocking. To like actually have this like this real aspect to the film, so it's not like just I'm sorry, I'm I'm horrible. I'm explaining this fucking horribly, am I? But yeah, I'm like basically. Yeah, basically, I feel like, like it's just trying not to be a parody of itself. It's just trying to be a parody of other works. It's trying to avoid that shit. I don't really know what you're saying. I mean, I get like little bits and pieces of what you're trying to say. I think what you're trying to say is that they're trying to like put that in to show this is this how life goes, and we're not gonna have this here as like a um as a plot device to to drive um. To drive the desire for him to actually want to make this crap. It's like, I think you're saying? Uh, okay, I'm trying to put it in a different way. Like, okay, so. Like, because the whole point of the movie is to, like, point, is to point out how the way that black people are usually depicting movies, you know, treats them like objects. Okay. It doesn't really treat them like people. Even the ones that are supposed to prop them up, it's like, hey, these are just props to, like, make white people feel guilty. They're not really usually depicted as people in a certain way. Like, there's, like, a lot... Like, a lot of them are done just for the money. There's not a lot of humanity in it. And, and, and you know, we know that's obviously the, the route that this movie's going because that's how the books are written. I get that. What, what does that have to do with, with, with his family stuff? Because, like, they don't want to treat the family stuff like it's just, like, a prop to... Fi- prop to just to start up this one fucking storyline. They want to make them feel real. That... It, Feel like they exist outside of it so that it could be a movie that actually like just tells black stories without just like focusing on the exploitation of them but how would that fall in ex- exploitation if if it's like I need to make this cause I, I need to probably go into this because life is starting to hit me and I need money 
You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Which he does in the book. I mean, uh, in the fucking script. Yeah, he he needs money. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because he has to pay for these. You know what I mean? But because, like, if you would use them that way, then it then you're basically just using them just to, like as an excuse for the fuck for this plot line and not as but like their own with black, that's what movies do, do, do in general yeah it is what movies do in general but I think this but I think this movie's tr- again like this is a suspicion of me but I think the idea is to like try to like trying to fucking uh, subdu- like subverse that so like, I mean expectation I think I, I think I get what you're saying but like I don't see the point in, in subverting it if you're gonna spend so much time on that so what you're at the risk of just creating almost an entirely different movie you know what I mean you kind of split the narrative that way and movies everything is cause and effect one thing leads to the next that's how you keep a story going Yeah. so it's like you kind of set something up that can lead to that just to spit in the face of that idea mm-hmm. you know what I mean which in the overall sense I think that's where your point is coming in is like they're trying to subvert subvert that yeah. Showing that that's why that's why I said from the jump like oh so you trying to so you so because this is definitely more of a slice of life kind of movie. You're saying you're saying that well that was the impression when when I saw it I thought this had a straightforward narrative you know what I mean yeah and it kind of did because that's how you mark in movies you mark them as simple as you can and and, and it kind of did but then you had those family stuff that I felt was gonna link to this to this side of it mm-hmm. but it kind of didn't because the whole reason. The whole motivation was kind of undercut because he didn't even, he wrote that book, you know what I mean? To me, like why 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 write the book in the first place if you had no intention of actually putting it out there, like to put it out there to make money? Because it's like, dude, it's, it's like you're just writing it just to be a fucking cynic, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But you had no time for that because you're in the middle of like some heavy shit going on, you know what I mean? Yeah. Sister just died. You need money to put your mom in the fucking home. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like your brother's going through some shit. You know, so it's like, like, where's the linkage there? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, like, you say it's like a slice of life, but the movie, to me, at least, way it began, it wasn't, you know what I mean? It kind of comes out of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The only thing that saves to me is that the family stuff was interesting. Yeah. That's the biggest save. But I'm not a fan of, of splitting your narrative. If you know what movie you're trying to tell, tell it. You know what I mean? Because that took a lot from the other side of the movie. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. they removed... Because what I thought was going to be the, the, the connecting tree and the, just not being connecting at all. And so now you, now the narrative is split. Yeah. You know what I mean? And now you're telling two different stories. Mm-hmm. I'm not a fan of that. I like focused stories. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I don't like meandering. But it meandered in the go way because that other stuff was pretty good. And yes. it all came together pretty nicely. You know what I mean? Even though I'm kind of, it annoyed me, I get it. You know what I mean? I think it worked mm-hmm. pretty well. But... Um, but the thing is, it's also at the behest of not really getting to the fucking problem. You know what I mean? Because you said you, you built up all this tension and anger not to give me any kind of relief. And you, the way you give relief is to confront the problem. Yeah. I get, well, I thought about that. I think the intent was like to make people angry. No, I know the intent. I totally get the intent. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. The movies have done that. You know what yeah, I mean? Boy. For example, uh, Spike Lee movie, that did that to a T. That just yeah, do got right people thing, angry yeah. not to resolve anything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So this movie definitely was trying to do something like that. This guy probably obviously is a fan of Spike Lee. I could totally see Spike Lee doing this movie. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyways, let's... Uh, I mean, I mean, at this point, we might as well keep this whole thing in because... Yeah, this is like... This will be like the opener, I guess. I'm or open, cold it, open, this yeah. is a, I mean, you can put this cold open, but this is almost like the whole fucking... <laughs> this is pretty much the crooks of what I was... Tr- of the whole thing I was trying to say about this movie, so... Yeah. This is pretty big, but fuck it. We really, we, we happen to say in the beginning, so we're gonna keep it in. But hey, guys, how you doing? Welcome back to Underdeveloped. This is uh, Tyrell and Nick here, and we're reviewing a new movie, American Fiction. This is a movie that we were waiting on. We saw it in the theaters when the, they were showing like um like ads for other movies. So we saw this a couple times. We saw the trailer for this a couple times in the theaters, and we laughing at, we we were laughing our asses off. So this is definitely one of the anticipated ones for sure. Oh, definitely. Um, so this movie is directed by Core Jefferson. He's a first time director. Mm-hmm. Very good job. Now this is someone that that made a movie. This is someone that that made a movie the first time and did it. You know, what I mean, pretty solid in comparison to uh, Michael B. Jordan, who directed his first movie this year, <laughs> oh, yeah, and it crazy. wasn't as good. Even though even though movies liked and successful, I mean, I think it's just close enough his first two movies, which were good. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't 
bad, bad, but it just it just was that movie creature was just sloppily um paced. So I mean, we already said a lot of stuff about this movie. Um, mm-hmm. we do have some problems with the movie, um, at least on, on my end. But it, but so going so circling back, it's like the family stuff did kind of come out of the blue, and it kind of took a lot of real estate in the movie. But it was done so well that it became an inter- interesting. So kind of movie kind of separated into two different different strains that were both interesting. Yes. But this wasn't what I expected. I wanted the first week because that's what I signed up for. So it took great time from doubling down on that and really getting into because this is a major problem. The way that black that, that black media is portrayed mm-hmm. and owned by the white masses and not getting the the the, the real justice I guess it deserves. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um it needs more real estate. So, like the scene with with Jeffrey Wright's character and Issa Rae's character was, mo- I needed more of that. That was that scene was the best scene of the movie, hands down. It was great, and that's what I needed. I love that. You know what I'm saying? Even though all the family stuff, especially still came around, knocked out the park. It was perfect, perfect portrayal. Mm-hmm. Great, well acted scenes. I felt the shit. It was it was really good. You know what I mean? It, be, it the movie became a drama just off just just that. It but did. it it could have crossed into the realm of of melodramatic but it's but it managed to not get Tyler Perry yeah thankfully <laughs> Even, and he made a joke about Tyler Perry it made a couple movie. jokes about Tyler yeah. Perry <laughs> you know what I mean? the movie could have got Tyler Perry with the whole family drama mm-hmm. cause that's kind of the, the setup for Tyler Perry movies yeah but they was able to do it they, they, they were able to give it just enough for us to get invested without getting into the realm of melodramatic yeah they did it tastefully yes and he did it re- reality to a certain degree but yeah, so the scene between him and Issa Rae is the scene stealer. Because Issa Rae is the person that, you know, wrote like a black book. Yeah. You know what I mean? And is doing very well. And 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 she and Je- and and Jeffy Wright is like, you know, after he wrote his book, he's like, yo, like how could you like like how I like how could you feel okay like writing this kind of shit? Like is don't you find this shit offensive, basically? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and and also and she was she was she was like, you know, uh, she's writing like you know. What I mean, she's she's feeding into what works. I guess she, she she's yeah. feeding into what the she's giving the people what hey, they she's basically what, giving the people what they want. That's exactly what she's doing. You know what I'm saying? And there's nothing wrong with it as long as it's done well. I've, I did my research about it, so mm-hmm. that so you know what I mean. I filled out I, I I told this as well as I possibly can. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, and he's like, but you came from like you went to top tier schools. You came from this and that, so it's yeah. like, why you feel the right us as stereotypes? You know what I'm saying? Exactly, like that. Like she might have wrote it, but that's not really like she, like because she's basically wrote a book to be the black story. Well, even though she's black and that's not her story. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. So like they, they led to really intense scenes between them two. It could have gone to Rome was real disrespectful, but it actually didn't. It just stayed within that yeah. dynamic before you know one of their white. Authors came in and broke it up. Mm-hmm. So, like, everyone's... So, really, this movie could get frustrated because all the white characters... If I was white and I was watching the movie, I will feel offended. I'm just saying. <laughs> like, they portrayed all of them as, like, morons that just or ha- have their heads so far up their asses mm-hmm. that they can't see shit. You know what I'm saying? They can't see what's right in front of them. Like, it is so, so fo- it's so fogged up. So disconnected. You know what I'm saying? And... And it's kind of taking take advantage of our of our stories for profit, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like without really understanding the struggle, and not even just that is like it just kind of portraying us as caricatures, and we have a lot more to offer than that. Oh, definitely. And that's my whole point. I'm like, why don't we do in Hollywood? Why don't we do movies? Like that's when I when I, over, when I get into position of some kind of power and I can make the movies I want to make on a high level. Like I love to do. I love to see a Holly Selassie movie. I love to see a Shaka Zulu movie. I love to see a movie about the Moors where we're the fucking conquerors. You know what I mean? Like, you know, colonizing Europe with, you know, with Islam. I mean, I mean, like, shit like that. Why do we, why, why do we, was it to play victims of slavery? You know what I mean? Oppression, systematic racism. Why, why are we always victims? You know, why are we always blaming the white man? Why can't we write our own shit? You know what I mean? Portraying us with power. With power. You know what I mean? Or oh, just different stories. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Kind of like, that's so, 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 so why I like the best man. You know what I mean? It's a black, so black, all black cast, but it doesn't, but it's, it's, it, just, it has nothing to do with them being black. They're just successful people doing their thing. You yeah. know what I mean? And an, an example that came out this year, the creator is kind of like that, where as a black lead, but him being black doesn't really affect no, anything. It doesn't affect anything. You know? Mm hmm. That's the kind of shit we need. 
That's another yeah. So the end name definitely go go subversive because they they, they set up a way where like Jeffrey Wright was gonna out himself as Stagger Lee and really give these white people a taste of the, which I was waiting. I was like hell yeah. I was <laughs> cracking my knuckles. I was like I was ready to get it. I was ready to let these people have it. Let's point out their fucking stupid hypocrisy. Mm-hmm. And no, they kind of he kind of cut to like where he's like kind of like marketing his experience as a movie to at. Adam Brody's character, um, <laughs> and um, and you know, like uh, he's like, no, nothing really happened. I took my award, and I just left. You know what I'm saying? And my girl, you know, who who he had problems with by the end of the movie, hasn't called me back yet. Yeah. But no, it has to have this kind of resolute ending, whatever else, so that he comes with different scenarios where he gets arrested by the cops because Stag <laughs> Lee, you know, he won about FBI, whatever else. Uh, another one where he, you know, what I mean, um, another one where there was one where. There was one where he goes to the, where he goes to like his his uh, girlfriend's house and the, and he opens the door and that's a lot and he just like pans out yeah, pans out no re- no 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 resolution there yeah he's yeah, like I mean, determined not to give us a happy ending yeah, <laughs> determined to subvert everything and then like a year later the movie's no no yeah and then uh, at the end of the movie the movie gets sold it works you know what I'm saying and you know the, him and his brother just like laughs at how stupid these motherfuckers are yeah it is what it is. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So, I thought that was... Even though it kind of annoyed me, I get it. And it does work as an ending for this kind of movie, for sure. Yeah. Because the movie definitely is, has this rebellious thing about it. Where it's oh, kind of going, definitely. Where it's trying to go against the grain to really point out the hypocrisy. And that's a big part of what I really like about yeah. it. This movie, has, this movie has an axe to grind. Oh, definitely. Rightfully so. Mm-hmm. To die wrong. And, 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 it, and it really tackles something that doesn't really... That needs to kind of be discussed nowadays. Oh, definitely. Now that black people become more prominent in cinema, you know? This is discussions we really should be having more. Yeah, I agree. Because so much, like, the conversations is, like, kind of drowned up. But, like, oh, we don't want black people in the movie. Is that movie that's woke? Oh, we want black people in all the movies because that uh, it would be racist not to. It's like, no, these are very extreme positions that are really just kind of dumb the more you think about it. Like, oh, it's somewhere in the middle. Oh, yeah, you know, this this, this is raw. This is real. This is what we want to see. Where it's, like... That's why you keep looking at us in certain lights because that's how you see us. Where it's like, no, that's mm-hmm. just a stereotype. That's not how we yeah. all are. It's it's like it's ironically being more being racist by trying not to be racist. <laughs> that's basically it. They're being unintentionally racist. Yes, they're like they're trying to pat themselves on the back, like, hey, we're doing a good thing by bringing all these black stories to light. But instead, they're just like enforcing stereotypes. Do a one black story do about Mansa Musa, the richest person ever to exist? Mm-hmm. How, how about that? Yeah. yeah, but y'all don't want to make that, though. Mm-hmm. That'd be a good story, too. But nope. Well, with that being said, I think it's about time we hit the scores. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Kind of on the fence with this one. I think straight 90 would be good for me. I was thinking the same thing. Uh, I was going my late 80s, but as I kept going through the movie, I was like, you know what? Nah, I like it a lot. has a lot of things working for it. Yeah. Um, But I do have a little problems with it, so I'm not going to give it like a 95. Mm-hmm. But yeah, a low low 90s work for me. I think a flat 90 works out perfectly. I agree. Flat 90. That's what I was thinking about. Yeah. As well. Yeah. Yeah. Flat That's ni- it. Flat 90. A flat 90 for American fiction. If it's a movie that interests you, then hell, go see it. Go give it a try. Yeah. Please make sure always... We always support good movies in the movie theater. Give them money. <laughs> make sure they're make sure they stay afloat because you get more of them. <laughs> and with that being said, please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and the notification bell so you update all of our new videos. And we'll see you next time for some more content. See you guys later. <laughs>